how to evaluate classification model using AUC ROC curve and why is it treated as one of the best metric to distinguish between the classes in order to evaluate the classification models. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I am going to explain one of the most important evaluation metrics for checking any classification model's performance and which is AUC ROC curve. This is one of the metric which you need to definitely know because if you are building a classification model and you don't know whether it is uh, capable of distinguish uh, between uh, the classes then using this metric might come handy. I will be explaining and showcasing the performance measurement of classification model at specific threshold setting. This is going to be another very important video from the perspective of uh, making a firm grip on classification model evaluation techniques. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. GitHub link for all the required notebooks uh, is given in the description section as well as at the end of the video. Please don't forget to like and share as well. In the previous video, I covered various other uh, classification model evaluation techniques like precision, recall, confusion matrix as well as cap curve. Here I will cover AUC ROC curve. So what exactly is AUC ROC curve? Well, AUC ROC curve is a classification model performance uh, measurement uh, metric which tells us how uh, much a classification model is capable of distinguish between the classes. Using AUC ROC curve, we can visualize the performance of a multi-class classification problem as well. So here AUC stands for area under curve and ROC stands for receiver operating characteristics. In AUC ROC curve, AUC represents the degree or measurement of separability and ROC represents probability curve. So if the area under the curve is higher, then it means that the model is better at predicting the classes that is model is quite good at predicting spam as spam and not spam as not spam please note that we should be aware of certain concepts uh, before we jump on to AUC ROC curve and these concepts are confusion matrix true positive rate false positive rate recall sensitivity specificity etc please note that a uh, true positive rate uh, or recall or sensitive is one and same thing so if someone is saying recall then it means that he is talking about true positive rate or sensitivity the formula of uh, these three terms is same and it is true positive divided by true positive plus false negative I have already created a video on confusion matrix uh, precision and recall so you can watch that video to acquire the necessary knowledge in this video, I am going to cover a false positive rate and specificity before moving ahead with AUC ROC curve. So let me first explain specificity. Specificity, which is also known as the true negative rate, measures the proportion of actual negatives that are correctly identified as such. The formula of specificity is true negative divided by true negative plus false positive. So specificity tells how good our model is at identifying the false or negatives correctly. Please note that sensitivity and specificity are inversely proportional to each other. Therefore, when we increase sensitivity, specificity decreases and vice versa. You also need to remember that when we decrease the th threshold, we get more positive values. Hence it increases the sensitivity and decreasing the specificity. Similarly, if we increase the threshold, we get more negative values. Thus, we get higher specificity and lower sensitivity. Moving on to false positive rate or FPR, which is calculated as the ratio between the number of uh, negative instances which are wrongly categorized as positive, that is false positive, and the total number of actual negative instances so here is the formula for the same. So false positive rate is equal to false positive divided by false positive plus true negative. False positive rate uh, tells us that when the actual value is negative or false, 
then how wrongly have the classification model performed to classify that data that is if we look at only the negatives or false then how wrongly the model has classified them as positive false positive rate can also be in, uh, calculated as 1 minus specificity let's move on to auc roc curve now so the roc curve is plotted with true positive rate against false positive rate where true positive rate values are plotted on y axis and false positive uh, rate values are plotted on x axis so let me show you a plot first so this is how the roc curve looks like true positive rate is on the y axis and false positive rate is on the x axis roc curve is the curve of probability so the corresponding distribution curves are represented like these here the area under curve is equals to 1 so if our classification model is an excellent model then it means that it has area under curve close to 1 which means it has good measure of separability a poor model has auc close to 0 which means it has worst measure of separability which means that it is reciprocating the result thereby predicting zeros as ones and ones as zeros if the area under curve value is 0 0.5 then it means that model has no class separation capacity the plots shown here represents an ideal situation where two curves that is red and green curves are not overlapping at all thereby suggesting that model has an ideal measure of separability it is perfectly distinguishing uh, between uh, positive class and negative class as you can see here and here threshold is capped as 0.5 now let's move on to another set of plots uh, we can see that roc curve here is not ideal and area under curve in this case is less than 1 and it is 0 0.7 here which means that area under curve is less than what we had in the case of ideal ROC curve this is because we have certain errors in the predictions or in other words there are certain instances where model is giving wrong predictions so basically there are certain type 1 and type 2 errors which got introduced in this model due to which uh, the area under curve is coming as z uh, 0 0.7 and if you don't know what are type 1 and type 2 errors then you can watch this video so here you could see that there is an overlap in two distribution curves resulting in type 1 and type 2 errors now here area under curve is 0 0.7 which means that there is a 70 percent chance that classification model will be able to distinguish between positive class and negative class the area where this overlap is happening is shown as false positive and false negative threshold is again uh, 0 0.5 here now let's consider another scenario when aoc or area under curve is 0 0.5 here you can see that both of the distribution curves are overlapping. ROC curve shown here is a random line in the middle. So this represents worst classification model because this kind of model has no discrimination capacity to distinguish between positive class and negative class. Finally, let's consider another scenario when AUC is equals to zero or area under curve is equals to zero. So if you see uh, here, there are two distribution curves where red curve or true positive uh, has moved to left hand side and green curve or true negative uh, curve has move, moved on to the right hand side the roc curve in this case is the reciprocal of ideal roc curve which was our first scenario this represents uh, the classification model which reciprocates the classes well what does that mean well the reciprocation means uh, that it represents a model which predicts a positive class as negative class and vice versa. So folks, this concludes classification model evaluation technique called AUC ROC curve. In the next video, I will show you how to evaluate the logistic regression model using Python code. So stay tuned. And here is today's question, uh, state true or false. The ideal classification model is represented by area under curve is equals to 1. Please post your answers, comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. 
so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos so keep on watching thank you